Dodds here, trombone. Thanks for watching. Have you ever been on a gig and you couldn't hear yourself? Or you get there and, and you finally start to realize that this band's pretty good and they have all this wonderful electronic sound. The uh, keyboards can do anything they want, make them sound like whatever they want to make them sound like. The guitar players can, even the singers can. They have harmonizers that they play into. They got all these buttons on the ground. The guitar players have a whole whole floor of buttons to make their guitar sound all kinds of different. We walk in there and we got one sound, maybe a muted sound. Not much difference. So I was thinking, all these people have this wonderful electronic sound, why can't I? So I decided that I was going to try playing into one of those pedals like they do, uh, like these other guitar players do. So I ended up buying a Boss vocal processor. This in particular pedal has 80 sounds in it. It has 30 preset and 50 that you can put in however you want and rearrange them however you want. I'm going to play a few of them for you on a demonstration here. But at this gig, so I'm thinking, I'm going to play through that. So I get my microphone out and I run my microphone into that processor. I run the, pro or the, 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 uh, the vocal processor and I run that into the PA system. Nice. Except now I'm at the, on stage and I'm playing and the people in the first 20, 30 rows in front of me or the people that are relatively close, they hear my sound as well as maybe what's coming out of the PA. I'm thinking, well, this song or that song might be designed for more of an electronic sound than a raw trombone sound. So how am I gonna do that? So I came up with the idea of using a mute, a silent mute. So I got the Yamaha Silent Brass mute system, which is intended to, use, to be used for practice mute, because then you put headphones on and you can hear everything that's, you're playing as usual, but in the room, it, it's, a, it's a practice mute, so it's very muted out. I'll demonstrate that too. So what I'm using that as my microphone, and I run that microphone into my, I mean, I'm sorry, I run the, the, si the silent brass system into my microphone system, and, now I take my, and then I take my microphone, and I plug it into the processor, and I run that to the PA. So now, you're not hearing this because it's muted, you're hearing what's coming out electronically. Works pretty well. So I'm gonna demonstrate a few things for you. In today's case, I'm not running it to the PA, I'm running it through my interface and through my computer to record. But that's, what, that's the way this process is working right now. I'm gonna play something for you. I'm gonna play a lick that I play on probably a, a bunch of different sounds. But here's one. This one's just called bright, a bright trombone, a bright double. <laughs> sound. Let me show you what it sounds like if we don't use the processor at all and what the Holland silent mute system sounds. All right, let's go back now. I'm going to give you a couple more examples. This one's kind of neat. Up one octave. <laughs> Here's another one. Let's, we can go up an octave, we can also go down an octave. Pretty neat, down an octave. This one plays in thirds. The processor, you can set it up in any key you want, major key or minor key, and it knows which third to play, a major third or a minor third, uh, depending on the scale, uh, scale pattern. As an example, roots would be a major third, seconds would be a minor third, etc. It knows that. Here we go, thirds. <laughs> Huh? 
All right. Here's one. This would be intended for those guitar players I was talking about. It's a distortion that makes it sound like a, a rock guitar. <laughs> church. This one's called Cathedral. sound like you're in a cathedral. Anyway, that's the Voss vocal processor. It can do a bunch more stuff. I've just been having fun playing with it and making all these different noises. I'm going to eventually try to use some of them in some of my posts so you'll get to hear some different sounds as well. Thanks for watching.